I got a question for you and it's simple. What is your definition of success? Because whatever you define success as is what you will strive to become whether you realize it or not. When you submit to God's call in your life, he will take you farther than your peers could ever understand. He will give you a supernatural energy that the rest of this world doesn't get. He will take you to new levels. He will provide for you. And the rest of your life, you will live in satisfaction knowing that you're accomplishing things that nobody else could. Why? Because you put your eyes on your creator rather than chasing his creation. So my question for you is simple. How much do you want to know what God has for your life? How much do you want God in the first place? Because I'm here to tell you that Jesus doesn't want 20% of you. He doesn't want 30% of you. He doesn't want 80% or even 99% of you. Jesus doesn't want you on Sunday mornings, but then miss out on having you Monday through Saturday. Jesus wants 100% of your life. And when you get to the point where you're willing to give him 100% of you, that's when in return he gives you 100% of himself. And a matter of fact, he already gave 100% of himself to you first when he went to the cross. And now he's saying, I want all of you. But a lot of people think that the reason Jesus wants all of us is because he wants to give us a bunch of rules and regulations and religion. And he wants to try to make us more spiritual than the next guy. What Jesus wants for you is for you to live a life of freedom. What he wants for you is for you to chase the dreams and the call that he built you for, that he made you for, that he created you to do, that he knew about before the world was ever formed, that he said, you, by name, this is why I'm making you. And I don't want you to do it half-hearted. I don't want you to give 30% to this. I want all of you, and I want you to give yourself all to this for my glory. Because the Bible says in everything that we do, we should do it with excellence. And I got to tell you something, if that's the case, then those of us in the world who have a relationship with the Creator, our creation should be on a different level. His creativity should flow through us and everything we put our hand to should prosper and grow and bloom and become successful. And when the rest of the world looks at us, they should marvel. And in return, we say, it's not us that's doing it. It's him through us. So my question is, what has God made you to do? So maybe I'm talking to some young kid out there on the East Coast who believes God's called you to be the next great author. What are you waiting for? Start writing the night. So maybe I'm talking to some kid down south who wants to be the next great musician and make music for God's glory. What are you waiting for? Start today. Start right now. Don't wait until tomorrow. And you can't go back and start yesterday, but you can use this moment right now to start. And when he gives you that purpose, you don't look any other way and you don't listen to any other voice and you shut out all the naysayers and you move in the direction that God is taking you. And when you move in the direction that God's taking you, nothing can stop you. There's not a mountain big enough that you can't cross. He will take you further than you would have ever expected and God will use your life for his glory. Don't settle for complacency. Don't settle for average. Don't look like the rest of the people around you who sit on the couch, do a nine to five job, live for a retirement plan, but never leave an impact on this society and in this world. Instead, be a game changer. Do something with your life. Live sold out. Find out what it is that God's created you to do and then you run and you run and you run and you don't stop and you work towards that call. I don't know who you are, but what I do know is that you can't get back yesterday and you can't jump into tomorrow yet, but what you can do is get up right now and start working on what it is that God has created you to do. And you can be anyone and you can do anything. And it doesn't matter the color of your skin. It doesn't matter the place that you were born. It doesn't matter the neighborhood you grew up in. It doesn't matter the money in your pocket. It doesn't matter who you know or who you don't know. What matters is that you follow Jesus over everything. And when you put him first in your life, you will excel. And through your life, you will bring him glory. And when he's glorified, you're satisfied. And that's the perfect equation for success and for life and for happiness. And all these things will be added unto you, but it's on you to get up and to go and to start fighting. Success at its most raw state and its most purest form is this you living a life of doing everything with excellence in order to bring God glory and when you accomplish those goals for God's glory you're satisfied through it he's glorified and you're successful what is your definition of success and what are you giving God because if you're not giving God a hundred percent and then putting a hundred percent of yourself and everything else for his glory then you're wasting your time and you're wasting your life and you can do better so use this as a reality check to get up and to go and you work when everybody else is sleeping and you run when everybody else is walking and you work when everybody else is taking time off and when everyone else is partying 
You understand the party isn't in this life, it's in the life to come when you work right now for God's glory. You have the potential to be great, but potential is wasted if you don't do anything with it. So wherever you're at, whoever you are, whatever your age is, whatever the color of your skin, whatever your sex, whatever it is, you can be great, but it starts today.